Before we jump into the technicalities and the specifics of tattoo art, let me share you one of the most important topics which has brought tremendous success in my life. It is the science of mind, body and energy. This topic will help you understand a lot about yourself, your own self. It will also help you understand about the mechanics of your mind and body and the way it works. It will also help you bring awareness on how your self-made images, patterns and mental blocks are slowing you down. So let's begin. So let's start with an example here, which I use in most of my workshops. Uh, this is my hand, right? Like this is my t-shirt. So this is my specs. This is my hair. This is my body. Where am I? You think for a minute and answer this question. Try to answer this question. Where am I? If the answer is such that here I am, like the way you see me, it's my body and my clothes and my stuff. What do you see? Do you see me? What if you cut through my body? Can you see me? Can you find me inside? Or do you know how do I look exactly? Because what you're looking at is my body, right? So again, I'm going to ask you the question, where am I? You can also try this question asking to yourself. You can ask the same thing, where am I? Like, where are you? And think, go in deep. It's hard to find the answer. Honestly, I don't know the answer. But the reason I'm asking this question is because you can now differentiate between your body and yourself. So you and your body are two different things. They're not same. So don't confuse yourself with you and your body. Similarly, when you think that you can't do something, it's not you cannot do something. It's your body which is not ready to do something. For example, if I ask you to do a flip like a somersault, reverse somersault or you know, jump. For most of you guys, it will be hard to you know, just stand and jump unless you are practicing for no, for months and years. So right now, if I ask you to jump, you might answer me that I cannot. So technically, if you want to answer that, you can say that I can, but your body cannot because your body is not trained right now. What if I provide a month of training and I, I'll teach you how to jump, how, how to do a reverse flip. After that, can you do it? I'm sure you can do that, right? So what, what you need is the practice and training to your body. But when I asked you to jump or if I ask you to do anything and if you don't know how to do it, you would say I, I cannot do it. So you are confusing the limitation of your body to yourself. So you are actually putting the limitation of your body on, on yourself. So you are the infinite potential. I mean, you can do anything you want. But it's the body which cannot do it. It needs information from this 3D world. It has to be trained. It has to be supplied with uh, right information, right practice, and then you can achieve something. So it is that simple. Do not confuse yourself between you and your body. Now, let me put one more plane in between. It's the mind. So now there are three planes within you. I mean, you can you can just think for a like for take 30 seconds and think about it. Feel your mind, feel your body, and then feel yourself. The, the one who is feeling the, the, the body and the mind is you. So in religious books, you are a soul. In some other way, you are an energy. I call it energy. So you are an infinite energy. You can do anything you want. But you take your, uh, the help of body and mind to do certain things. You get that? Is it clear? So it's mind, body, and you, the energy. So my next question is, can you do whatever you want? Think about it. Can you do whatever you think, whatever you want? Can you change the universe? If you feel that with your limited power and you're confused whether you can't, whether or not, I'm gonna show you one example. It's very simple and very easy to understand. Check this out. So I have a blank paper here. I have a marker, right? Do you see anything on this? 
nothing it's plain right i'm going to draw this line now can you see the line this line just came into the universe right it it didn't exist before i drew it did this line exist before i did this no right it just happened now after i did it did i not change the universe did i not create just now in front of you if i can do this and if i can change the universe i can do anything i want the reason things are not happening in your life or in in you know people's life the way they think and it is not happening that's that's the illusion they are living in it's because they have doubt in doing things right now creating this line is very simple process simple activity so there is no doubt i cannot do it and i just change the universe but when you do bigger things you have doubts and that's why things don't happen the way you expect so i'm going to explain this in 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 detail now let me give you a third example let me let me take you or walk you through a, a little process of how things work with mind body and energy so i have this marker and i'm going to throw it to my uh buddy uh, uh to the cameraman the one who is managing the camera and he's going to throw the same thing back to me so here it goes and it comes back right now this simple activity i'll just break it down that how it happened so my sound energy went into his ears so i'm asking him to catch this right so when i say that you know i'm going to throw this and he has to catch it the sound energy went into his ears there is some some mechanics inside which converts the sound energy into some data some binary language the one which is understood by the brain right and then it compared that that the data with the past data stored which is a learnt language so he he matched it he understood what i asked for and then the whole process stopped at one place can you guess where where, where it stopped before he went in on to you know catching it where did the process stop think about it it stopped for a decision it stopped for yes or no so everything happened the body did its job then then it it waited for the instruction from him not his body not his mind body and mind worked for him to get that information to him and then asked for it whether to catch it or not catch it he said yes after that the entire thing happened he even don't know that which arm was ahead or which arm was where he can't um give you the specifics of what angle his hand was in or how did he balance the body body took care of the entire thing afterwards he just had to give a decision yes or no it's that simple it's it's the same thing here i decided to do something and everything happened i don't even know that whether i i i held this paper like this or it was like this i'm not very sure whether this is like this like this or what kind of angle or where where i was sitting i can't give you the numbers about it body did it i just decided i just i just told my body that draw the line and then things went on similarly everything in your life comes through your decision so you have to decide and body will follow it so there are so many things in the world you don't understand like you talk about uh using a remote control to control your ac or your car or your tv you can't see the beam in between but there is some connection right between the remote and the tv but you can't see it that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist so there are so many forces your body is connected to you can't see but body knows the 3d world it can bring whatever you want to you you just have to instruct you you just have to tell your body that this is what i want it may take some time it may require some energy some process practice something but the body will bring it to you it's like it it will start attracting things which match your demand it's that simple you have to first decide what you want so in this case because you are trying to learn tattoo art what's your goal have you decided a certain goal in certain amount of time have you instructed your body 
to do certain things or you're just going on with day to day life. If you don't have goal, today is the time when you sit and write down what exactly you want and tell your body this is what I'm looking for. And then things will fall in place. You have to ask and wait like you think about a situation where you are in a restaurant. So you see the menu, you, f- you select one and you order and then you wait. You expect things to come in, you expect your dish to arrive, right? So that's how your body and your mind and you work together. So you decide first, what do you want and ask for it through your body and wait for you, expect for it and things will happen. The body will find new ways, new people, new opportunities, new coincidences, everything will happen around you. But it starts with decision. If you tell your body that I can't do it, it will find all the reasons to not do it. It will, whatever you think, it will prove you right. If you think you can do it, it will prove you right. If you think you can't, it will prove you right. There is no other way. That's how the physics and the chemistry of your body, mind and uh, your energy is. So keep your mind clear what exactly you want and decide, like take a pen and paper and start writing, like write 10 things you want and then put some time that this is when I want and then wait for it. Write things which somehow you feel that it is challenging but it is possible so that there is no doubt. If you have doubt while writing, so you might ask for $1 million uh, in next one hour, but then do you believe in it? If you don't believe in it, that means there is a doubt. So doubt will prove you right. So doubt will happen, not the thing will happen. So write things down which you believe in or which you think this can happen if I put some energy and force, if I think positively towards it and wait for it, things will happen. So you construct your future, you can construct your day to day life. I also give this example in my lot of my lectures where I say that you design your future and most of the people say no the future is not in our hand I mean things happens and you are not in control I think otherwise that's my perspective so I'm not claiming here anything but that's my perspective that this might help you so I, I would like to share it with you when you decide to go from one place to another for example if you're working at one place or a studio or your own studio and in the morning you are leaving for the studio from home so when you are at home where are exactly you are going if the answer is you are going to the studio if someone in, uh, is asking you here at home that son where are you going kid where are you going you say I am going to the studio that means you are talking about the future it's not present when you answer you say that I am going to the studio. There is no doubt that you will not reach the studio. You don't know the path. You don't know which vehicle you will take, which road will you, you will choose or which signal is going to be there or roadblock and stuff. You just decide that this is the where I am going and there is no doubt because it's the day to day thing for you. So you believe in the future, at least that span of future. So you say I'll be there in 45 minutes and then you decide and you reach there. Now when somebody asks and you can decide a future and then when you reach here the future ha- the future is real now. That means whatever you think happens. Similarly when you leave your studio you're, you're planning to go home. If you're planning to go to the party you will reach to the party. If you're planning to go home you will go home. So even if you miss your road or even if you miss your train or things still you're going to reach your home because you decided you decided with no doubt you know that you will reach there so you know the future is coming and that's that 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 is there same thing with ordering food in restaurant so you order food and then you wait for it and it comes you are expecting the future to happen because you believe in it there is no doubt that it's not coming So you design your future. If you can design this pan, you can design the entire life as well. You got to know what exactly you want and then ask for it and believe in it. And just just go with the flow and things will happen. In this case, in, in our context, you want to be a great tattoo artist. 
If you are not sure what does it mean, then you got to write down that what defines that. So if you want to be a great artist, what is great artist to you? Write it down. How does that that thing feels or how what will you have in terms of material? What will you have in terms of friends, respect, awards, whatever it is, just start designing. Start designing what exactly you want. I asked uh, this question um, to one of my colleagues. Uh, he wanted to he said that he want to uh, win the best of the show in one of the conventions and uh, I said there is this there's this person who believe in maybe um, a God like person right? so it can be Jesus or it, it can be any other religious uh, entity so uh, one who has a, go a God power and I asked why didn't you ask him I mean he's right here he's asking son you can ask anything you want and I will give it to you and he said I want to win uh, an award in I, I won the award in a convention and I said okay so instead of God I was answering I was trying to explain something uh, which is very important the same thing happening right now so I, I told him that think about a place you standing on the stage and the award in your hand nobody else in around he said no 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 this is not what I want I want to win the award so I need some people to compete with me and I said, okay, there is an award, there is a stage and people are competing around and that's it. He said, no, 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 I, I want I, I want actual convention. So I, I asked him, how does it look like? What's there in that convention? So he's talking about, so he started talking about, you know, the, the guy who is announcing his name as the best of the show. So he has worked on a particular piece, a particular theme on the arm. And then he had a lot of competition, how many competitors and so on and so forth. So he went into all the details. So what he is doing is designing his future. Then now there is the clarity. So you can't just ask like I want a lot of money. I want to be a famous artist. That cannot happen. You have to be very specific what exactly you're looking for. If you say famous artist, what is famous for you? If you talk about a lot of money, how much lot of money for you? And then think about it. It has to be a specific number. So start designing your future. It is right there. You change your universe. You just have to decide, no doubt, and put enough belief in you. Now I'm going to take you through a little deep uh, into the science of mind and how our mind works. And I'm, I'm very sure that this, this part is going to help you a lot. Talking about the mind now. So I'm talking about um, the, the, the way the mind works and how you can, um, once, you, once you know how it works, you can actually start using this information to make changes in your mind to bring more success in your life you can get whatever you want in your life so here we go so let's say this is your mind and i'm sure you must be aware of this part where you have there are so many levels but i will talk about the major levels that is conscious mind and subconscious mind So your brain is divided into two sections and one is a conscious mind, the another one is a subconscious mind. Your life, it's not just me, I've read more than 300 books so far on self-help and a lot of other things. Your life, similarly like my life, is driven by subconscious mind. 95% of my life is driven by subconscious mind. Same thing goes for every human being. 95%, approximately 95% of your life is driven by subconscious mind. So what does that mean? I'm, I'm, I'm going to write down this number here. 95% here, 5% goes to the conscious mind. Now conscious mind is where you think. Subconscious mind, you don't think. It's a pattern. A, a habit. So all the habits are into the subconscious mind. And you cannot put the, uh, the habit into the subconscious mind directly. In fact, there is no way that you can alter your subconscious mind directly. So it has to come through the conscious mind. It cannot just land into a subconscious mind. As far as my knowledge goes, when you are born up to five to six years, 
everything goes into the subconscious mind directly and once you start building the the uh, analytical mind which is more of a conscious uh, mind job then it has i mean it the information starts flowing through uh, from the conscious to the subconscious now when i say subconscious goes 95% and conscious 5% that means in all your life you just think for 5 you have just thought of or you have put your 5% of energy into thinking that's why they say that thinking is the most difficult job ever it's not easy when i say thinking it's not the automatic things happening in your mind i'm talking about creative thinking so like creating things so to create things you need a lot of energy so your body has limited energies let me give you some insights on um, the energy part from where the energy is derived towards the brain so we have cells and the cells have mitochondria and the mitochondria have some some molecule which splits with some reaction and there's little electricity is produced there little energy is thrown up out was conducting the electricity and then again it goes down it uses water oxygen and nutrients which comes from food to rebuild and again it splits and that's how that that cycle produces the energy there are now millions and billions of mitochondria in your body so there's a lot of energy already produced automatically so it is said that you you are like a battery so we we emit a lot of energy all the time it goes into earth and everywhere around even if you are not aware of it you can you can watch few videos online go on youtube and find it there are tons of experiments where again and again it is proven that your body is producing a lot of electricity all the time so it's the same energy is used for seeing hearing movement muscles everything this energy comes to the mind and the energy is limited so our mind is divided into three parts so the first one is the primitive mind second is i call it animal mind i have read a lot of books and a lot of people call this so it's not my term but then yeah and third is a human mind or the the frontal lobe the frontal cortex so the primitive mind is is the mind which has come from the millions of years from from the maybe the first life till now it all the information gathered to survive a, or to run the basic functions like the functions of the cell and the functions of the heart and the liver and stuff which we don't control it 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 is it, it is controlled by the primitive mind the second part is animal mind which is a, which has a survival instinct so the animal mind is i mean you see any animal what they do is um they they eat they shit they sleep uh they will drink and they will procreate multiply and apart from this they have continuously one thing happening in their mind they just look for the danger around and make sure they are safe they're always active and always kind of in a survival mode that they're looking for something if, because they don't want to die so the 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 animal mind does the same thing for us so we are protected by the animal mind so so that we don't die right and the the, the final part is the human brain which is the intelligent brain so you go analytical you calculate you build machines and all that stuff that happens in your human mind or the frontal cortex right and it is kind of a newly developed part of the brain that's why we are so intelligent that's what i have uh, learned from the books i have read now all these energy which comes from the mitochondria and and all the processes we have to to build the energy so we have say for example x amount of energy produced by body right now brain is this small right if you see this this small if you compare it to the body it is like maybe body is 200 times bigger than the brain or maybe a little more than that right now think about this listen to this carefully try to calculate this number 1 plus 1 what's the answer it's quick right you can say 2 i mean it's very easy now try to calculate 24 into 36 
take a minute and try to resolve it. Don't use pen, paper or anything. Just try to resolve it through mind. If you put entire one minute in, in trying to calculate this using mind and if you're not a really mathematic expert kind of person, it's going to take a minute to resolve it. I can give you a bigger number which will be kind of an impossible task to, to resolve. Now putting this kind of energy to resolve this number for a minute is equivalent to, it's equal to 10 minutes jogging or 10 minutes walk. Think about it. Entire body using, you know, all the energy to walk and come back for 10 minutes is equal to just thinking for a minute. So brain needs that kind of energy to run, especially the thinking part of the brain. It requires tremendous energy. It's like a processor in your computer. It gets heated if, if it, it is, you know, processing a lot of information. It needs energy from everywhere. Now, because of this, um, this construct in your, of our mind, in our body, or the way it is laid, the mind has found a better way to operate. You can't go conscious all the time because every time you don't want to think about one plus one. When you did one plus one, you didn't even think about it. It just came too because you have solved that problem, easy problem so many times that the answer is already there in your subconscious mind. That pattern is already there. You don't have to think. So the, the mind has developed this, this own formula that to avoid using a lot of energy to, to not think for the same redundant things again and again. Like you don't want to learn driving every day. You start driving one day, two days, three days, four days and in a month you start driving without you, with, with using least of your conscious effort. It's all subconscious. Your driving is conscious, uh, subconscious effort. Consciously, it's, it hardly takes any, any energy. So think about it. Every time you sit in the car, you have to learn again. Learning happens in conscious mind. Thinking happens in conscious mind. So learning happens here. Would you like to forget everything and start from scratch the next day for anything or, or for the things you're doing? No, right? You want the memory to stay and the patterns to stay and they, they are connected and they, they collaborate so that you can do the task very easily. So when the hard job becomes easy, when there is enough patterns and the memory in your head doing the same thing again and again, repetition, practice, it gives a lot of data to your mind which goes into subconscious mind and things become easy. Easy means you are using less conscious mind. That's when you say it's easy. Right. So this is the construct to avoid the, you know, heating up or to avoid taking, consuming a lot of energy from the, you know, limited supply we have. Uh, the brain is designed such that whatever is happening again and again, a repetitive task of every day, conscious mind will analyze it. So talk about, uh, you might be getting up and you have this feeling of brushing your teeth, right? So it was not there when you kid, but then now you feel it because what has happened is over the years, there is a pattern. You get up, maybe you go to the bathroom and then maybe you take the brush. Maybe there's a feeling on this, this, and then you do the brush and you have a feeling, aha, it's fresh. This feeling and this pattern is done so many times forcefully I mean your parents force it to do it right so it's again and again and again after some time it becomes a redundant process now conscious mind sees that I don't want to put energy again and again here it's the same thing he is doing so what he does is he, he will the conscious mind will push it down here into a subconscious mind of brushing Now subconscious mind doesn't think, subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the no difference between imagination 
and real. So subconscious mind doesn't understand it, whether it is real or imagination. Subconscious mind takes the command from the conscious mind. So whatever you the, the conscious mind puts in there, it will start running. It's like a process, like an engine. This, this part is very uh, mechanical. It will take instructions and it will start processing it. Doesn't matter. It will, it, there is no thinking power here. So you can't think here. Thinking happens in conscious mind. So it's hard to get rid of your habit. So if you are smoking, it started in the conscious mind for some reason and then you developed a pattern and you did it again and again and then it came down. Now because it is in the subconscious mind, the pattern has to complete because it's there in the subconscious mind. You can't remove it, erase it. It's, it's like a memory there and it is, it is, it as it is a pattern, it has the trigger points and things which will trigger it and you will keep doing again and again. The more you do it, the stronger it gets in your subconscious mind. So you actually develop the habit in your subconscious mind. All the habits are in the subconscious mind. And when I say habit, you are driven by habits all your life. So 95% of your habits are driving your life. While you're watching my video, you are actually balancing on your seat. Think about it. If you are sleeping, you might fall. You might not stay as you are right now. So your body is balancing. Are you balancing? Are you consciously balancing your body? No, it's just happening. So when you were a kid, you learned how to balance. Your body was trying to do things. So when you're a very small kid, you can't even sit. So you, you, you tried it again and again and again and then your body learned it that you are trying, the conscious mind is trying to sit and this is how you sit and then you know the pattern. It went in the subconscious mind. Right now you're sitting is the same information from years ago and the subconscious mind is processing it till date and it will happen all your life. Now, if the habits and all these information are driving your life, Think about it why if you are not successful or if you think that you know the life is low or things are not happening the way you want the reason is your subconscious mind you are not aware like I said while you were sitting did were you aware that you were sitting no so you are not aware what is happening in your subconscious mind there are so many things happening which you don't want it to be like that but it's happening it's there here and it is driving your life if you want to change your life if you want to learn faster if you want to become a, the the greatest uh, a greatest artist if you want to achieve some real heights you got to put more information in subconscious mind and that has to start from the conscious mind that has to start from thinking creatively thinking so you have to start creatively thinking Keep thinking, keep designing that thought, keep coloring that thought until it becomes a pattern. The moment it becomes a pattern, it goes into your subconscious mind and things will start. I mean, you will see things falling in place. Whatever is there in your subconscious mind, you believe in it. So all the belief is right here. So whatever you believe in, it is already there in your subconscious mind. That's why you believe in. There is no doubt. The execution is so simple, so easy. Even it doesn't even ask you for that. Half of the things are happening without you knowing it because you believe in it. You have given that access to the subconscious mind, the rights. Just do it so that you free up the energy to, to, to think more, right? Now, if you want to grow, if you want to really achieve the heights you got to change this you have to change your beliefs you have to change the way you think the way your subconscious mind operates for that you need to sit at one place and go deep in your mind and see the patterns and the repetitions and the things the thoughts which are coming again and again in your mind those are the signs that they're automatic you don't think thoughts are happening in your mind 
So when you're sitting, doing nothing, there are so many things happening in your mind. It is not what you're thinking. It is a subconscious mind which is throwing all it, all of it to you because you have some day back in the years you have given the right to do it and now it is just pushing all the thoughts to you. If you're thinking based on the past thoughts which is into the subconscious mind, the results are going to be like the past. If you want to grow, you need to put more information, new information in the subconscious mind. And there is a process. You do things enough times that it becomes a pattern, it goes into the subconscious mind. As soon as it goes down, the belief is attached to you. You start believing in the thought, in your own thought. So you start talking about it. You say that I'm going to be the greatest one. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to win this award. So before it happens, you start talking about it. Why? Because the pattern every day you think the same thing, you paint the same thing, that the data has come from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind. The belief is added, the doubt is out. Now there is no doubt. You just find new ways to reach there without a doubt. That's how you design a future. That's how your mind works. But if you're not aware, if you're kind of an unconscious, the 95% is happening through subconscious mind, only 5%. And you know why you feel um, frustrated or you don't like change in your life? Or if something, something comes up as a surprise which is not in your favor, I mean you expected something and something went wrong. Why you feel sad or irritated or frustrated? Because you expected something and now there is a new thing or something came up which you which you never thought of something bad happened that change is actually affecting your conscious mind it is asking you to now think creatively for the new solution which is not there in your mind now one plus one the answer is two it is right there in your mind you are more than happy to answer it right but when i give you a new number 136 into 144 it's pain, it's, it's a problem for you now. In fact, very script says, I'm giving you a problem, 133 into 164. You call it as a problem to solve. Now this requires conscious effort. That conscious effort is painful. So to develop a new habit, it's painful. When you know that you wanna succeed, you got to find a new way. Most of you guys know what to do, but you can't do it because it's painful it's the five percent of energy which is your mind is trying to save so it is not even you it is it is the physics on and the chemistry and the biology of your mind it will try to avoid using more energy because there is limited supply through food water and oxygen that's why it will avoid using more conscious mind it wants to be in the subconscious space that's a safe zone you feel safe there but if you want to grow, you got to push your mind, conscious mind, come up with new ideas, think creatively, make it a habit, keep doing it, and then it will enter the new space. Now, 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 the one which was difficult to you, as soon as it enters into the subconscious mind, it becomes your normal zone. So this is no more difficult for you. It's like easy, everyday job. And then you develop the another level. That's how you go forward. Have you experienced the fact that when you want something, you start seeing that stuff around. Think about it. Like if you think about the yellow flowers and you start seeing yellow flowers when you go around the city or you talk about a better example is think about buying a new car. So if you plan to buy a new car or a bike, that specific car and specific bike, which you know you want to buy, you will see more of those while you are traveling around. Why does that happen? If you think about some color of butterfly, you, will, you, you might see one or two all day. Why does that happen? And this is, this is not like a, a coincidence as such. It is how your mind works. The moment you instruct your mind with something, it will start seeing it around. So it will start pulling all the information and give it to you. This is what you have asked for and this is what I see around. So what exactly it does? It actually opens up 
the new life, the new world for you, where you start seeing new things, it's like seeing new opportunities. So in my case, if I want to build, say, a business, if I want to grow from one number to another, say, I want to go uh, the, from the current uh, profits to uh, 10 million within a year, I will start seeing new ways. I will, I, my mind will start finding and fetching things around and showing me, you know, this can happen. I'll find new people, new friends, new opportunities. Tons of things will f come in and then I have to decide whether to go with it or not. That's how your brain works. It is kind of a, I would not uh, say it's a slave to you, but it is, it is a, a, a support and extension of you, right? So the moment you think of something, you start seeing it around. So if you are in pain, you will get more thoughts about pain. You will think of the past and things happen bad, things happen in life and you will feel more pain. If you are, if you think that you are broke or you have less money and you're struggling hard, the, the mind will fetch all the information around to prove you right. It will show you again and again that you're broke, you're struggling hard, money is hard, art is hard. The, whatever you feed, whatever you instruct to your brain, it will show you that thing around you. So it's very important to stop that way and think creatively the way you want. I have an exercise for you. Take a pen and paper and don't think about the possibilities and impossibilities or whether it can happen or not. Just sit back and calm down, take a pen and paper and write down 10 things you want within next 12 months or within next three years. And don't think whether you can do it or not. Just, just write what you want and see how it goes. The moment you write, don't think about the doubts and, and focus in your brain. It will tell you, you cannot do it. This will not happen. You don't have money. You don't have this. You don't have that. All that information which runs in your mind, all that logical explanation the brain will give, it is coming from the subconscious mind. It is what you have given. I mean, you have pushed that information inside. Now it's giving you back. It's giving you the same information back because you believed in it somewhere consciously, unconsciously, but it happened. Now, when you start designing new stuff that, that all that, all that murmuring will happen, all that um, questioning and the doubts will come, but still you have to clean that and you start pushing that. This is what I will do. This is what I want and tell your body and mind, find ways to do it. Don't give me reasons to not do it because that's your old brain. Now with the new brain, the new way of thinking, you say, maybe I want to buy this, this, this and find ways to buy. Find ways so that I can have this thing in my life. Find ways to find a love or find, you can, you can ask for emotions, you can ask for material things, you can ask for freedom. You need to explain it properly. You need to picture it out, paint it for yourself in words or if you can paint, you can paint as well. And tell your body and mind, this is what I want. And the mind and body will start working on it. It will start bringing you things. The next step will be your decision. Once you start finding new opportunities and new things, it will be a, a dark area. It's not easy to jump into the new idea, but a lot of things are gonna come. A lot of failures are going to come, but that's the new area. If you stay in the safe zone, that's your subconscious mind area, then nothing is happening anyway. But when you start seeing, when you start writing that thing, those things, and you start seeing new opportunities in a week or two in a month, and next step is to decide and go further. Do not worry about that doubt or the failure. What if this goes wrong and I will go down? Nothing is going to happen. The more you fail, the better you will get at the life the more you learn out of it. So there is no failure as such. There is a lesson in it. So you go ahead, you might do something wrong, but then you will find the right way. And then you choose the right one, again go ahead. That's how you go fast. So I believe in leaping through success. I don't talk about step-by-step -step process. So you know, you just first do this and then that, and it takes years and months. Somebody, someday I, I still remember, uh, told me that to understand black and gray shades in tattooing, it takes more than 10 years. And 
I asked him to, to come down and do a workshop, a workshop, a lecture in my uh, school uh, because I, I found his lining and the way he tattoos, I mean, he's really good. When I asked him, I invited him for this, he said, you know, the, one of the top artists of, you know, known artist, I will not name him, told me that it takes minimum 10 years to understand the black and grey. So I'm waiting for those 10 years to happen so that I know more. And I said, that, that's bullshit. Back then, all these artists who are now kind of legendary artists, they had a different world when they were learning tattoo art. Now it's a different thing. The information is flowing so fast. The new techniques, new things are happening so fast. You can't just block yourself saying that, you know, somebody told 10 years. I challenged it. I challenged it. It doesn't take much. Tattooing as a topic, as a syllabus is so small. It's so tiny and simple to learn. Anybody can learn it. It's just, you just need to have, need to have passion and love for art. And then you can learn tattooing. It's so easy. There is, there is no special skills required. You can learn it, you can train your mind and body and then you can be the best. So I hope this session was insightful and helpful. There is, a, there is a, an effort needed from your end to, to follow this. I mean, if you want to be successful, you got to follow a small process and it has to be every day. You have to develop a new habit, a new discipline. Discipline is painful when it's new, but once you get into a habit, it's no more discipline. It's your normal life, right? So you got to develop a new discipline. Every morning, I I recommend I do it every day. It's been it's been more than five years. I would say seven years, more than seven years now. I've been doing this. And I do it till date. Every morning, I get up. I write ten things to appreciate, so that I change my my state of mind. So. If I'm not happy, if I'm, I have a headache or if I'm not feeling good, doesn't matter. I sit, I start writing 10 things and as soon as I finish those 10, 10 15 uh, items, I, my state of mind changes. So you, you write things, um, if you have watched the movie Secret or read the book, there's the same practice there. You write 10 blessings. I call it like 10 things to appreciate or things happened in the past which you appreciate. So write those things, 10 minimum, it will change the vibration of your mind. Once you feel good about it, once you feel thankful and grateful about things, next thing is you start writing your vision. So you write, maybe first day you will write 10 things, what you want. But now from the next day, you have to add details to each one of it. So in my case, in, in last year, January, I wrote that I want to buy BMW 6 GT and nothing else and the next day I wanted to write about it so I wrote that you know so today I bought the BMW and then I went out with my friends to some place and then I wanted to know more about the car so I took the um, uh, the trial the, the the trial drive to experience how the car feels and then I got the experience I, I felt like how, how it feels to sit you know to be inside the, the interiors of the car the size of the car uh, they, all, all the experience and I started writing it every day I used to add one point to that dream, to that vision. Similarly for my house, for my, for my business, for my relation life, life and my relationships. For each one of it, I, I, I kept adding one point each day. I, I think I got my BMW in, in less than seven months. I don't know how it started, I just wrote it as a new year resolution last January and within seven months I bought it and when I wrote it I had no way to buy it similarly out of those I wrote around 12 things and I, I achieved seven of it in the last year I, I kept writing again and again so what happened is the more I, I wrote while writing you visualize first and write so even if you try now if you try to write any word there will be some picture in your mind and then the word comes out so the more you write, the more your mind visualizes. The more you visualize, the conscious mind sees that every morning you do the same thing. Every morning you think of a BMW. Now, the more the pattern you develop, it's a pattern, right? So conscious mind doesn't want to add more energy. It pushes down to the subconscious mind. Now subconscious mind adds belief to it because by then you start believing in it. So as soon as the belief is added, your body, mind, everything will start fetching new opportunities, new things around and then 
I now I know how I got it. But when I started writing, I had no clue that how will I get it. So don't think about the path. Just design the destination, the future, what exactly you want. Don't think about the path. So write in this mindset with with this mindset. So first, if uh, practice is change your mind to a little good side. Be grateful, thankful, happy, and then start writing your visions. Uh, give it a time, like maybe within one year or within three years, and keep adding daily. Keep adding new points to it, and see how things will change for you. You can you can write whatever you want in any area. You can write and then just keep writing every day. And this will change the entire thing. So that that's the uh, request. If you want, if you understand this session and if you think this is really helpful, then next step is to take decision, follow it. The more you follow, the faster you go in your life towards success or towards whatever you want.